It's time for Daryl Brooks to stop running. It's time for him to stop lying. It's time for him to be held accountable for his actions. Tonight, we're hearing from the woman who prosecuted Daryl Brooks, sending him to prison for life for the Waukesha Christmas Parade attack. For Waukesha County District Attorney Sue Opper, it was the biggest case of her career. She talks about the Brooks trial and about representing her community in this one-on-one -on -one conversation with CBS 58's Victor Ricobo. It's starting to sink in. The past year has been one of tragedy and triumph for District Attorney Sue Opper. Guilty. Through it all, she's drawn inspiration from her community and the actions ordinary people took on November 21st, 2021. People with complete disregard for their own safety went to help somebody else. We're very, very convinced there would have been a lot more fatalities had those people not acted so selflessly the exact opposite of Daryl Brooks, right? Despite being in a spotlight no community ever wants, Opera says the national and at times global support for Waukesha was overwhelming. Oh, I've lived in this area my whole life and you always think your hometown is the greatest, but then when you see it and you get acknowledgement from uh, literally all around the world, it, it's nice to hear. It was that community that Opera and her entire team kept in their hearts and minds throughout the trial. For you personally, reflecting back on it, what was the most difficult part of this? I think overall, I think as a team, we felt that um, as strong as the case was, we really, really did not want to let down our families or our community. That included staying focused, even through constant interruptions by the defendant. Mr. Brooks, stop! Reminding themselves with one simple phrase. This is not a sprint, it's a marathon, and we will outlast him no matter what. Then came sentencing. I felt a lot of frustration and anger yesterday, not towards any of the victims. It was towards Miss Susan L. Opper. At one point, Brooks called out Opper, but the district's attorney met his gaze. I did turn and face him directly as he was speaking to me because he did, you know, call me by name and had some things to say to me, and I, I wanted him to say it to my face, quite frankly. I was not insulted, offended, or uh, disturbed by what he said about me because this is a job to me. This is my profession. Opera's term as DA ends in 2024, oh and she will not seek re-election. So By the time her right term ends, she will have been DA for a decade and in the office for 33 years. She says it's time to move on. What's next for Sue Opper? Many people have asked me, you know, are you going to go into private practice? Are you going to run for judge? Are you going to do this? No, no, and no. Um, I want uh, a stress-free life or minimal stress, um, and... Uh, not sure what I'll do. I know I will do something, but I think